In this video, we're going to talk a bit more about our resources in Simulate and how we can add a bit more detail. Um, in our previous video, we, we showed you how to build up the small simulation with the single resource object and how to allocate that to the activity in question here. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to show you how you can add a bit more control and a bit more logic on your resources. So what I'm going to do is expand the simulation um, a bit more using the paddle. And I'm just going to add a few more cues and activities to make to extend this linear process here. Um, so one thing that's quite common um, in Simulate is, is you want a resource to be held at a certain location or by a particular work item, and then you want that resource to then travel with that work item. So some examples of that might be a tool in, in a factory or in a machine shop, um, and the tool actually gets fixed to the item and travels with it through the process, or perhaps the resource is representing a bed in a hospital and the patient is the work item, and so therefore the resource needs to travel with the work item through the entire simulation or a portion of the simulation. So in this video, what we're going to do is show this resource one and how we're going to capture it at activity one, continue using it through activity two, continue using it at activity three, and only release it at activity three. So from our previous simulation, we do have it still allocated to activity one. And now what we also want to do is allocate it to activity three, so the last step um, in this process. So again, I'm going to hold down my shift key and click and drag. And you'll see that that's now been added as a resource requirement. And now what we want to be able to do is select our activity and go to this resources option on the properties tab. And again, so we've got our resource one here. What we want to do now is go into this detail option. And this gives us far more control over our resource rules at this particular activity looking at are the series of four radio buttons here. So our normal default rules means um, use the resource and then release it once the work is complete. But what we want to do is require the resource and then essentially hold on to it so we're not going to release it. Um, and you can see the other option here, only release the resource. We will do that at the final step in this process. So we can go ahead and hit OK. You will then notice that you've get a small asterisk next to your resource name. That means that you've made a change to that, um, which is useful for debugging if you're um, you know, looking at a, a simulation that's unfamiliar to you. Um, and what we're now going to do is, is a similar steps on activity three. We're gonna, again, go to the resources on the properties tab, go to detail for resource one, and only release the resource here. Now what we can do to add a bit more of a sort of visual cue is we can select the resource itself and go to the graphics tab. And here there's an option for traveling. And what we want to do is check this option for display while traveling with work items. So you will actually see the resource attached to the work item as it travels through the process. So if I just reset and we can run this at a slow speed, you can now see that as the work item travels, so does the resource. Um, and so this will, this will use up your resources here because through the intermediate steps, the resource is still required there. So again, not every simulation will require this. Um, however, these are the steps that you would take should you need the resource to travel with the work item throughout the duration of the simulation or a portion of the simulation.